This movie rocks. It is uh, thoroughly ridiculous and really um, believable and unbelievable, <laughs> which is a, you know, you, you, you have, you know, mad sincerity, epic battles, high drama, romance, and a lot of comedy, which makes this film um, worth watching, certainly worth showing up for. Um, that's why I did it. It's fun. It's just fun. It's classic entertainment. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Greetings. As you know, some thieves from the resistance have stolen my bride-to-be. I would like to procure your services. This is fit for a bribing purse. You much more gold than this. Done. And some women. Done. There will be bonuses if you bring me the head of Cobra, their leader. All of the assassins I have sent have not returned. <laughs> my character's name is Talus, and uh, I'm a power-hungry warlord, and. Uh, I, in the quest for more power, employ some supernatural forces through something called the Book of the Dead. My lord, I am Zulu Kundu, lion spirit from the land of the burning skies. Command me. I engage uh, this device in order to get a little edge on my brother, played by Ron Perlman, who's after the same crown. I'm Matthias. This takes place uh, a number of years after the first one. I've pretty much lost everything that's important to me, everybody that I've loved, and I kind of go on this journey as a, as a mercenary, selling my sword and my services to the highest bidder. Your chances of survival, Matthias, are minimal at best. When do I leave? Tomorrow. Well, Better start drinking. <laughs> and uh, in doing that, I get sent on this quest. And uh, while I'm on this quest, I kind of get reminded about the things that are important in life. Matthias, you stand to help a great many people. Perhaps that could provide some redemption for past sins. It's beautiful locations, um, huge battle sequences, uh, explosions, uh, incredible choreography, uh, really interesting characters. Um, you're really taking on a ride. Choosing that locations is as important as choosing an actor, or choosing a script, or choosing a camera angle, you know? Because that location is a character in the movie, and we have some great characters in this movie. The character I play is, is called Agramel, and I'm a ghost warrior. And the, the cool thing about Agramel is he's, you know, he's a guy, he's a very honorable uh, soldier. A celebration of Lord Talos is premature must remain at the ready. The only thing that you must do is obey me, slave. We are warriors of the book, my lord. But he is, you know, only as good or as bad as the person who conjures him. Um, not necessarily so with the other ghost warriors, <laughs> but it is with Agamemnon. Um, but he's, you know, he's a soldier. He's very stern, he's very straightforward. His job and what he knows is to go to war. And that is what he is there for. He is conjured to go to war. And he does, <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> Lord, I am Agamel, noble destroyer. It is an honor to join you in battle. Originally, uh, what attracted me to the film was, uh, you know, being a fan of the original Scorpion King. Uh, and also, you know, because The Rock, who transitioned from wrestling uh, into acting and you know his first major breakout film being Scorpion King I, I mean when the role was offered to me I jumped all over it I mean all over it. I said yes I want to be a part of it uh, but I was a fan of the franchise as well you know I just thought it would be really cool well Sukai is a legendary warrior of the Book of the Dead so she is resurrected by Billy Zane who plays King Talus to kind of go to battle against his brother played by the very lovely Von Pelman what mortal dares to awaken the warriors of the book? It is I, Lord Talus, who summons thee back to Earth to do battle. I am Sukai, shadow warrior from the land of the rising sun. What is your will, my lord? Princess Silda, um, she's a fighting ninja. She's um, King Ramusan's uh, daughter, and she gets um, 
Billy Zane kidnaps her, right? Wants her to be his uh, wife, and then she kind of um, meets Matthias and Olaf, and then they kind of go on to this adventure. <laughs> You fight well, mortal. The house will take you with us. Spend eternity with two mindless brutes and their pet witch? No thank you. I loved Olaf on paper, just in the sense that um, as this sort of, you know, northern barbarian kind of comic relief uh, guy, I knew that I would have um, complete freedom in, in filming. He always shoots with usually three or at least maybe four cameras sometimes. You're doing a crane shot and a steady cam and a dolly all at the same time. And as an actor, that's so freeing. There was a lot of preparation. Um, first of all, I had to put on a lot of weight. I had to get as big as I could. I think I ended up being about 245 pounds when we shot this. So, Victor, we're entering week two. But in week one, how was it physically for your uh, massively chiseled body? How, how did that work out for you? They put us through the ringer. We were six days a week, eight hours a day, practicing every single fight. Every single fight you see in the movie, we knew all of the steps way before we even started shooting. We had all that up in our heads. So we had already taken a huge toll physically before we even started shooting, You're just getting beat up and, and smashed around. That right there? Yeah. That's what we call an ambulance. Uh, <laughs> Is that what that's called? <laughs> that may be our, our ride to and from set in the next couple weeks. Billy uh, is a very interesting person in a good way. He's very eccentric, very smart, very worldly, um, just totally wacky when he, he when he goes into character, a total uh, wacky king, you know. And um, he really comes to life in this movie. I, I think he actually steals the movie. He's, he's so good in it. Ron is this big, strong, stoic guy in real life and in his character. Um, being on set with these guys, the complete opposite ends of the spectrum. <laughs> it was so fun just to just to be around these different energies. There is a great story, but the story is filled with action. You've got these incredible scenes. You've got people jumping off waterfalls, you know, coming through explosions, being resurrected from the dead, beating up loads of guys, just just endless battle scenes in fields, taking over castles. Just oh wow, yeah, they're going to be happy with that. I think wow. for sure. The thing is, if you make these movies, you know, you are playing with fire and you're playing with fighting and of course you get sometimes hit and you get sometimes hurt and that's the way you go. But the closer you come to reality, the better the movie will be. When you get the Blu-ray, you get the DVD, um, there's a lot of uh, behind the scenes stuff, some extra footage. You see us joking around, you see us, uh, you see what it was like in the fight training. Um, you really get a sense of what it was like to be there with us shooting and what a good time it was. And uh, you get to hear from everybody in the movie uh, what we think about each other, uh, what we think about Rule, uh, uh, what Rule was thinking when, when he was shooting doing all this stuff. So you really get into the mind of all of us. If anybody's a, a, a fan of the original Scorpion King, they're going to want to see this. Fans of this kind of movie and this series, I think, are, are going to feel um, really excited about watching this. If you really just get every, you know, get everything in this movie. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's a big epic film. You know, you get all the action stuff, you get the romance, you get comic relief. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just great. It was a pleasure to know that everyone realized that this film has its tongue firmly placed in cheek and it never took itself too seriously and just went for entertainment and wow factor. So you have this incredible combination of, you know, production uh, value, um, romance, comedy, and action. Action, action, action. Thank <laughs> you.